Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our back strength. We are going to work our trap muscles and our upper back muscles. Straight away I am going to start with the greatest stretch. Five repetitions on each side without fail. The mandatory warm up before every day's workout. Make sure you do any other dynamic stretching if you prefer to do so other than your regular cardio work which you might be doing for five minutes on a cycle, on a treadmill or on an elliptical machine. Make sure you do the dynamic stretching part. Now I prefer to do the greatest stretch because it unlocks the entire body's mobility in one go and doing it maybe at least five to ten repetitions each side is more than sufficient. Post completing my greatest stretch, I move on to my deep squat, the mandatory deep squat for the day. Every day I make sure I squat deep and stay there for a few minutes at least. If not few minutes, at least for a few seconds pre-workout to ensure no matter if I'm doing leg day or not to ensure my hip mobility. Post completing those, I moved on to my first exercise which is T-bar row. Now if you don't have a T-bar setup like I do, you can simply Keep the barbell in a corner of the wall and then start doing these. The barbell wouldn't move and you'll still be able to perform the T-bar row. Now I've done four sets of these. In the first portion of the exercise, I have, I'm completely bent out, almost parallel to the ground and slowly started pulling the weight up. And once I'm tired, I was not able to pull anymore. I stood up a little bit, got a little bit more straighter, put the load on my upper traps and started pulling it again. So as many repetitions as possible every time, every set you do it. You should be targeting at least 15 to 20 repetitions each set. You can see here how I position myself up almost parallel to the floor in the first portion of the exercise. Pull it slow and steady, release it slow and steady. Feel the stretch in your lat muscles, feel the lat, mid lats especially engaging in the exercise. And then once you're done, Stand up a little bit, get a little bit straighter and start pulling it using your mid and upper traps. And again, make sure you get the repetitions as slow as possible. Post completing those, I moved on to pull-ups. Now I've done three sets of these, as many repetitions as possible. Now, if you are like me and still struggling to get pull-ups with your body weight alone, and if you don't have an assisted machine to do so, you can always choose to add a resistance band to help you perform the pull-ups. Make sure you always get your chin up the bar and release completely come down and try to get the eccentric motion as slow as possible, feeling every stretch in every repetition. Try to pull yourself as tall as possible, get your chin above the bar for every repetition and take about 45 to 60 seconds break in between. Now post completing this one, I moved on to my next exercise, which is lat pullover, three sets, 20 repetitions, pretty simple setup. Take an incline bench, sit it up at a 60 degree angle and in front of a cable crossover machine or a cable, individual cable machine, use a straight bar and start pulling, the, pulling it over your head. Get a complete extension and contraction of your lats as you can see the way I'm performing. Again, Make sure you go through your repetitions slow and steady. You need not be extremely explosive. Control the weight. Make sure the weight is challenging for you to get those 20 repetitions and go slow, especially at the stretch position, wherein as you're letting the weight go back up, go as slow as possible, creating an eccentric load on your muscle. And as you push down, make sure you keep your elbows locked. You need not keep them straight or bent but whichever position you're comfortable in just a slightly bent for me keep them locked don't move them much because if you start extending those much your tricep gets involved a lot more which it still will but we would like to minimize it as much as possible after completing those i moved on to shrugs especially seated shrugs now if you don't prefer this you can do this standing also but i prefer to look down while i'm performing these now again three sets 20 repetitions each set use straps so the grip is not compromising the number of repetitions you can get with a heavier weight and as you look down you can see how the slight upper back is you know rounding up and now perform the repetitions to get maximum amount of involvement of your upper traps and your mid traps while doing the repetitions seated position helps me to control the weight a lot more 
for the last exercise i am going to do calf races on the leg uh, leg press machine now three sets 15 repetitions plus five 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 repetitions accumulating another 20 repetitions with using the pause and rest technique so a total of 35 to 40 repetitions which you can accumulate each set you need not load it extremely heavily if you have a leg press machine like this wherein your body weight plus the additional weight is working but if you have a 45 degree uh, leg press machine which you might have seen in other gyms or you might have it in your gym you can load it as much as possible wherein you can control the weight to get those 15 repetitions or fail near the 15 repetition and get those extra 5-5 five, five repetitions going forward. Now take a break at least 45 to 60 seconds in between because it's a cluster set you are using pause technique to you know get back blood flow but still you might be fatiguing very quickly thanks to all the previous workouts which you have done so in between the exercises also i prefer usually taking a minute or two in between drink some water get hydrated make sure of that and continue your exercises now the entire workout would take anywhere from 45 to 60 minutes depending upon the amount of setup you have to do or move around in the gym but otherwise that should be the ideal time 45 to 60 minutes to complete the back workout now while doing these leg rate uh, leg press uh, calf races on the leg press machine make sure you try to contract as much as possible because the eccentric is a little bit limited because the way the machine is set up but the contraction can be as hard as possible so 15 repetitions plus 555 repetitions post completing that i moved on to my vertical hang hung there for about 20 to 30 odd seconds i was really tired by then but yes i have also clubbed since i was tired and not able to hang for long i also in, involved or clubbed a couple of static stretches which i have done previously also um, nothing new simply holding a bar and stretching out your lat by pushing your body weight onto one side at a time as i will show you right now make sure when you're hanging not to use any kind of straps gloves are still fine if you feel your calluses are hurting you a lot but straps defeat the purpose of grip strength so don't use straps gloves are still fine so for the static stretch simply hold the bar and let yourself drop your body weight onto one side at a time and start stretching the lats Thank you so much for joining me. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. And if you have any kind of feedback, please do drop in the comments. Again, I will see you in the next video. Meanwhile, I hope you had a great workout. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Have a good day.